So today we are going to create a 3D CAD model of an iPhone. Uh, open up the project brief, which is in Moodle. Familiarize yourself with what's required. All dimensions are stated on the project brief. Please print this and we're going to refer to this throughout the exercise. Let's launch Google SketchUp 8. Choose template, product design, millimeters, start using SketchUp. Let's begin by drawing a line from the origin along the green axis of a length of 115 millimeters. Let's zoom closer using the scroll wheel. Draw a line parallel to the red axis of length 58 and continue to the red axis and to the origin, creating a rectangle. Let's go to camera, parallel projection and camera, standard views, top just for clarity. Next we'll go to the offset command, select the profile, move the cursor in and assign a value of 8. Now we're going to create the radius corners. Go to circle, end point to end point. Again circle, there's the center, there's the radius. Circle again, center, radius and finally center, radius. Next we go to Erase and we're going to delete some of the construction lines which are no longer required. To Erase, simply hold the Eraser tool over the line work that you no longer want and simply scrub it and select to Remove. Okay, we deleted a line there, so we're just going to add it back in. Let's go to view and turn the axes off. Sometimes the axes actually obscure some construction lines, so turn that off to delete the unwanted lines. Always remember to uh, turn the axes back on once complete. Camera, standard views, isometric. And now we're going to extrude our pattern so we're giving it some depth so what we go to now is the push pull command move the cursor to the center of the profile and move the cursor up assigning a distance of six millimeters now we're going to add the glass on the iphone use offset move in assign a distance of one millimeter Again, we're going to extrude this push-pull, move the object up at a distance of 1.5 millimeters. Now we obviously have to create the back. So go to standard, standard views, bottom, camera, standard views, isometric. And now we're looking at the base of the phone. Again, offset as before, a distance of one millimeter push-pull at a distance of 1.5. Go to orbit and view the work that you've created thus far. Now to add some detail, go to camera, standard views, go to top, select line, line from midpoint, down a value of 103 millimeters. We're going to draw a circle here. There's the center, radius of 6.5 millimeters, and erase the construction line. And that forms the function key of the phone. Again, back to line, select the midpoint, move the cursor down at a length of 7 mil. Draw a line across of length 6, down of length 2, across by length 12, up by 2, and close. Erase the construction line. Draw a line from the midpoint 
across by one millimeter. Next we go to circle. There's our center. There's our radius. And erase the unwanted construction lines. Do the same on the other side. Line, midpoint, across by one millimeter, circle. There's our center, there's our radius, and finally erase as before. Now we are going to draw some of the keys on the side of the phone. So go to camera, standard views, left. Choose orbit just to see where exactly you are. Okay, so let's begin. Select the line command. Draw a line from the midpoint at a distance of two millimeters. Uh, line up at a distance of 1.5. A cross at a distance of six, down by three, cross by six, and close to complete. Again, erase the construction line. It's no longer required. Draw another line from the midpoint across at a distance of 8. Draw a circle, there's our center, at a radius of 2. Another line from the center point across by 10. Circle, there's our center, radius of 2. And again we will erase our construction lines. So let's orbit this, see what we've just created. And let's go to the top of the device, where the power button is placed. Draw a line from the midpoint across at a length of 2, up at a distance of 1.5, across by 10, down a length of 3, across by 10, and close. Erase. And that's all the line work that we have to produce. Now we're going to add some depth and width to those components. Go to standard view, ISO. And to do that, as before, we will go to the push-pull command. Select the key. And you can pull it out, and we will assign that a distance of 0.5 mil. Select the circle, pull it out, 0.5 mil again, and again add 0.5. Now the power key, pull it out, assign it a distance of 0.5. Take this, this time we're Moving down the way, assign that a distance of 0.5. And finally, the function key, select, push down, distance 0.5 mil. Let's go to zoom out, let's orbit. left view. As you can see the phone itself is actually below the green axis so we need to move that up. So we select the entire phone by creating this rectangle, this window over the entire phone. Next we go to the move command. You can select anywhere on screen, click and move up and we're going to assign this value of 1.5. Now as you can see that's lying completely flat on the green axis. Camera, standard views, and we go back to our isometric. to turn on perspective. Let's 
turn on some shadows. Let's orbit to see that shadow. And that's that. File. Save as. Call this iPhone. I want you to save this to your H drive and also save it to your pen drive. Exit. And with this dialog box, you can just select maybe later. That concludes this tutorial.